everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here, and today I'd like to do a bit of a different video. Instead of ranting or making a list or even reviewing a movie, I'd like to talk about something I feel needs to be said about one of my favorite movies. Now, it's no secret on this channel that I love the movie franchise Austin Powers, and I do. But something I'd like to discuss today is I would enjoy a fourth installment of this franchise, if not for seeing the characters return and the story continue, but also to see the whole movie franchise come back into the light. Sadly though, I don't see this being a possibility, and here's why. I know there are some articles out there about the whole idea of a fourth in movie it has been up in the air for years, but personally, as much as I'd love to see the film return, maybe the best thing for this franchise is for it to become a memory and be passed down by those who wish to share it. One of the sad realities being that Vern Troyer aka Minnie is no longer with us, and I feel I speak for many fans when I say no one can replace him or the iconicness he brought to the role. As far as the story, it's also pretty much complete at this point with Dr. Evil and Austin finding out about their past and Dr. Evil giving into his good side, not to mention the movie would be 19 years late, and the cast would have of course aged, which isn't a big deal, but it is a fact nonetheless. And as for what they might do if and or when there is a fourth installment, I've seen an article posted by Screen Rant that features what Mike Myers might have revealed as far as the next film's plot, which from what I understand is going to be from Dr. Evil's perspective. But don't we kind of already have that? I mean, throughout the movie we see Dr. Evil focused moments as well as scenes where only his character and those he interacts with are around. So ultimately, what more is there to be seen, I wonder? And I guess what I want to say most about this film is although Austin Powers is not by any means a masterpiece of cinema, it's a movie I will treasure as a classic that everyone should see at least one. And as far as a fourth installment, I don't believe it's necessary, but who knows what the future holds for Mike Myers and his Austin Powers counterpart. However, sometimes it's better to cherish a movie for what it was and not to try to recreate it into something more. But if it does by some miracle make its way back to cinemas, new or old, rest assured I'll probably be the first one in line to see it. So that's all I got for today and I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching and sticking around till the end. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. For now, this is Sherlock Fandom 1 signing off.